In this video, I am showing how to create pages in Envision 3.0. For that, after logging into Envision as I have shown in the previous videos, click Edit then select Current Display from the menu. Now, maximize the window then click on Place Item from the menu bar and select Push Button Selector. Place the push button on the page then double click on the button to configure it. When you double click on the button a window will open to select the type of button to be used. Select the display selector from the option in the window. Now it will lead to open another window to configure the button as a display selector. In this configuration window, you can again change the button type then you can provide text on the button. I am giving a text as systems page. Then you can choose a specific display by providing the number in the column as shown in the video. I am choosing display number 1. Now, we can select the options for opening a new display page. I am choosing to open a new window. Then close the configuration window. Now you can see a button named systems page on the display. Double click on the button again to change the font and size of the font on the display. Click on font from the menu of the push button configuration window. Then another window will open to change the font. Then close the window. After that click on edit from the menu bar then click save and exit edit mode. When click on the systems page button a new window is open. Then click on place item from the menu bar and select push button selector. Place the push button on the page then double click on the button to configure it. When you double click on the button a window will open to select the type of button to be used. Select device template different device from the option in the window. Because of this push button we are going to configure this for one device or one controller and we need to select the device instance of the device in the device inst column. Now I am adding text for the button as AHU and selecting the device instance from the list saved in the device manager. Now I am selecting the template number for the particular push button. And in the options, I choose open in a new window. From the font menu, I changed the font and size of the font of text then closed the window. After that click on edit from the menu bar then click save and exit edit mode. Now on the systems page, we have an AHU button with the connected controller. Double click on that AHU button to configure the template page to design for the AHU. Now a new window has opened, it is with device instance 0 as selected. Now select edit mode from the edit menu and we can edit the template for AHU graphics. Click on the format menu, in the menu bar select background and click on BMP file. Now a window open for background bitmap selection. To use the default library of bitmap images, choose the rep job as alert and standard then choose the file from the file name selection column. We have plenty of images for the various devices. For this AHU template, I am choosing one file and clicking OK. Now you can see an image opened as a background with a picture of an AHU in it. 
to add the text and parameters in the template. Click on Place Item and select Plain Text, then click on the device template to paste the plain text template. Now double click on the plain text template to add the text. AHUs we are using to control the temperature so to monitor the temperature I am giving temperature as text and set as a heading for the white column in the background image as shown in the video. From the menu of the plain text editor, I am adjusting the font style and size and from the color menu, I am changing the color of the text to red. Then I am going to add another plain text to add the temperature descriptions. I added a new plain text template double click on that and added text as supply air temperature. To add temperature parameters, I am choosing read only property from the place item. Now double click on the read only property and select object type and instance. Since temperature is an analog input, I am choosing AI in the type column and instance 0 in the instance column. To display the unit of the supply air temperature I selected included in display value from the unit text column and chose user defined text. To add a degree to the unit I chose the character from the character map of the windows then copied and paste in the column of the unit and add capital C. After that click on edit from the menu bar then click save and exit edit mode. Since there is no controller connected and no license used, we cannot see the value of the temperature. So, I am changing the type from AI to AV. Then save and exit the device template window now you can see the value 0 degrees Celsius. Further details of the graphics editing will be continued in the coming videos. Subscribe to the channel to get the videos.